Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to show you how I make my eyebrows go from thick to thin. First, I am plucking them out, all the little extra hairs that I have. You can barely see them, but I promise they are there. One moment, please. Hello? Hey. hey. Where are you? Um, maybe get some... Wait, what was I going to tell you to get? I was going to tell you to get something I forgot. Um, I was going to tell you yesterday when you were at the... What did we need? I forgot. Okay, now I remember. It was coffee cream. Yeah, para el café, yeah. These scissors suck. Okay, I'm back. So I will explain why I left that little section with me talking to my husband. But um, first, let me explain to you what's going on in the video. Um, I'm just I just brushed my hairs up so that way I can trim it, like as you can see here. So I have COVID. Um, I've had it since July 8th. It is now July 28th, and I still don't have a negative result. Now I'm going to bring them down. Now basically what I feel the most is, I mean I still can't taste and I can't really smell, but the other thing is that I just like space out. Like I can't think straight. Here in the video I'm just going to take the tweezers again and clean up any other hair that I may have missed. And now I'm going to take my Anastasia Ombre Brow Kit. You know, I'm not complaining because I'm good. My health is okay. Um, I have other family members that also got COVID in my household. So I think I'm just stressed more than anything because some days it will be good and other days it'll get worse. And it's just a very scary situation. Um, so here I'm going to start off with that darker color. And I'm just basically lining the bottom of me my eyebrow. And then I'm just doing small strokes. Um, I don't want it to look, I, I want to make it almost look like if it was hair. Um, although it really doesn't, but I think when you do smaller strokes like that, it makes it look more natural in a way. Or maybe like if they were microblade, microbladed. Now I'm going to take the lighter color and I'm going to start creating that ombre effect. And I start off at the very edge and then move my way towards the other edge of my eyebrow as you can see here. Now I'm taking the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and I'm going to focus that more on the very bottom and that outer edge that you can see here. I think this time being in isolation it's giving me a lot of time to think about who I am as a person, where I want to go, and the kind of person I want to be in this society because there's a lot of things that are going on that just makes me really sad and it makes me emotional just thinking about it right now but I just want you to know if you're going through a similar situation um, just know you're not alone but you'll get through it we'll, we'll be okay you know the world will be okay just stay positive And now here, now I'm going to make those little brush or um, hair strokes like on the outer edge there, upper, because that's where I have like no hair. But it worked, see? From thin to thick. Now I'm taking the Anastasia concealer with a thin brush and now I'm just going to outline the bottom, well, all the way around. So I really want to get my eyebrows microbladed, but I just don't know. I don't know if I would want something like on my face like that forever. But the reason that I have really thin eyebrows is because the first time I plucked them out was when I was like in 6th grade. And that was like in 2009, 8, 7, 6, like 2006. So there was no tutorials like there is today. There was no I mean, eyebrows back then too were pretty thin. 
And I mean, I have some pretty, pretty thick natural eyebrows, but I just really messed them up. And I just made them so thin, they never grew back out. And here I'm just gonna blend out everything I just out. Now here I'm doing that there so that way I can blend that outer edge more to give it that ombre effect. Thank god I have hairs there. <laughs> now taking the gel and I'm just gonna apply that all on the eyebrow. So now I'm just setting it with that powder. You can use any anything basically to set it. I'm using the L'Oreal 24 Hour Inflatable Gel Liner. I think that's what it's called. And now I'm just gonna do my typical eyeliner that I love. Oh, and this is the first time that I do my makeup in basically 20 days. Like, it's been a long time. It's taken me a while to get to this point, but like I said, I'm going to stay positive and life keeps going and I need to do my makeup. <laughs> the pencil brush I'm taking this color here and I'm just gonna apply it right there under the eye just to add some dimension and now last but not least some mascara it's for the top lashes and the bottom lashes as well that wasn't the last <laughs> this is the last thing I'm just taking that color and popping it right there in the corner to bright up my eye a little bit more. And the look is completely done. Thank you all so much for watching and please stay safe and subscribe.